Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. country and western hill and folk favorites and grab a chair take your shoes off make yourselves comfortable get you a jug of iced tea or lemonade keep cool for the next four hours with us while we do our best to play for you what we hope you like in the way of country music the bill mack saturday afternoon show going in its seventh year on kwft radio a little toenail clipper to start things off don reno and red smiley Oh, why the heck she got the blues? I want to wear a size 22. Hey, Barefoot Nelly. Oh, Barefoot Nelly. Hey, Barefoot Nelly. You are for me. <laughs> oh, me, that's a good one, boy. Called Backwoods Nelly. Or, uh, Barefoot Nelly it is. Don Reno and Red Smiley, we're going to give you our phone number in case you'd like to give us a buzz. We're taking long-distance phone calls for the first three hours of our show this afternoon. We'll take all we can. See, so folks who live out of town, you call us up. Here are the numbers to reach us at. 34181 in Wichita Falls, Texas. Or if that line's busy, tell the operator to try 34182. Love to hear from you. Opening up the mail, Farmington, New Mexico. Yeah, it's quite a way out. Says, how about playing a song for Jerry, Ed, Biddy, Dusty, Barbara, Jeanette, Don, James, Doyle, and Ray, all of Claypool near Warica, Oklahoma. All right, that comes in from Ethel Ellis over at uh, Farmington, New Mexico. Says, hope you and Jackie and Debbie had a nice vacation. We couldn't have asked for a final one. Checking the time, it's about 43 minutes and 25 seconds past the hour, 12 o'clock. We want to say howdy to all the hillbilly musicians, wherever they might be listening in. Uh, let's see, there's old Pappy Staff out at the barber shop. Wee Stewart at another barber shop. They're not speaking. And, uh, Elmer Lawrence out at the used car lot. And, uh, Tommy Bruce, probably fishing this afternoon. And I don't know if old Matt Flamingo, the singing bird's listening in out there at the cow lot this afternoon. I was going to listen to his show this morning. Just fell off to sleep before he came on the air. I opened up this radio station this morning. Now I'm getting old. Boy. I've got to get my sleep. Uh, the temperature reading downtown at our thermometer reads 100 degrees. Boy, the weatherman says it's going to be up to near 100. i got news for him. Here in town, it's already there. Or smile for my mama and daddy. I want them. I love them. So Lefty Frizzell, boy, that, that tune was really the thing back around 1951 called Mom and Dad Waltz. Here's a letter from Tell, Texas. It says, I'm playing a good song for Dolores Wilfang of Tulia, Irene Hoffman of Dallas, my mother, and the family of Wellington, my husband, my husband's mother and daddy and family of Childress, my grandma, and Oscar of, uh, looks like it says Lulia, and also for you, this is for Mrs. Bob Hoffman over in Tell, Texas. Hope they're all listening in over that way. Friends, be sure and, uh, remember whenever you find time this afternoon, if you live out of town, give us a buzz, 34181 or 34182 is the number to call. We received a phone call from Abilene, good old Abilene on the ball. We want to send a song out to, uh, Ray Connor over that way he wanted a song played for his gal friend Maxine. He said, Here's Marvin. I wish we had some rainwater. Gonna find me a bluebird. A 
All right, going to find me a bluebird. That's by Marvin Rainwater, an MGM record. Seven minutes and 30 seconds before one o'clock, and it's him time on our program right now with the Smith Brothers front and center. Just the rules will do. Emmons, who plays steel guitar with little Jimmy Dickens, great aggregation out of WSM in Nashville, Tennessee. Border Serenade. Here it is. <laughs> Right on up to 4.30 this afternoon, you're listening to the Bill Max Saturday Afternoon Show, Music on Record, coming your way over KWFT, Wichita Falls, Texas. And we're scooting along to part two of the Bill Max Saturday Afternoon Show for this real warm Saturday afternoon. Hope you got those shoes off, because we're going to have a stinking good time together this afternoon. Right on up to 4.30, friends and neighbors. Our program coming your way over KWFT in Wichita Falls, taking long-distance phone calls, reading mail, and what have you. So you stick around with us for the next, uh, let's see, three and one-half hours, I reckon, of this conglomerated mess. Cards and letters, dedications and requests, and what have you to take care of. And starting things off, here's a brand new one from Elvis Presley's new RCA Victor album called Loving You, taken from the Paramount picture, the same title, which Elvis stars in, incidentally. And it goes like this. I got a woman here, she's a bitch. That's a good one, boy. Elvis Presley. Thank you, Elvis, very much, from his new RCA Victor album. And it's called uh, Mean Woman Blues or something like that. <laughs> Sooner or later, a feller's luck runs out, and he winds up with a human lie detector known as a wife. Now, take my wife. No, thank you, buddy. You keep her. Wives come in four sizes. Small, medium, large, and holy smokes, get a load of her. Along with each wife, you get a mother-in-law. That's the FBI with Bloomer. My wife is the large economy size. The other day, she asked me how she could get rid of pounds and pounds of ugly fat. So I told her, it's easy. Send your mother home. Wives seldom sleep. By the time they get through greasing themselves with beauty cream, cold cream, and vanishing cream, while they keep sliding out of bed all night. A wife sticks with you through thick and thin. The longer you're together, the thicker she gets and the thinner you get. She is also the original talking machine. Though she has more than three speeds, well, you can't shut her off when you want to. And she's also the Ways and Means Committee. Yeah, she's got more ways of being mean than anybody. When a wife says that she's got an open mind, it just means one thing. She's got a hole in her head. My neighbor says his wife's an angel. And boy, he's lucky. Mine's still living. All my wife wants from me all the time is money, money, money. Well, what does she do with all of that money? I don't know. I ain't never give her none yet. The wives are sentimental. The other day, my wife's little dog got killed, so they broke the news to her gently. They told her it was me. And nobody else can cram into one little wee flat pocketbook, a Hoover button, three pictures of Eddie Arnold, combat boots, a crowbar, the Kinsey Report, and three cans of U.S. Army field ration C. Wives are magical critters who can make spots disappear from your clothes. Five spots, ten spots, chains. And now to the wives of America. 
if we've said anything to offend you, believe us. And men, when you come home at night, tired out from slaving over a hot guitar all day, you take her in your arms and say, tell me the words that will send me out of this world. And she softly whispers, drop dead. You got that now, didn't you, Jerry? Jerry Hadley? You rascal, you got married. I was sent out to Jerry and Joy with, no kidding, we, we want to wish these youngins uh, the best of everything. Been married now for a couple of weeks, and I just found out about it a while ago. Here's a letter from Betty Crosswhite, Sulphur, Oklahoma. It says, how about playing a song for my husband, Carl, on our first anniversary? Well, nice. See, here's another oldie for you, Bob Wills and all the Texas Playboys with Faded Love. Yeah. 